Hi folks, so in this video I'm going to continue working on Pong in Pygame. In the previous video I had done the initial setup of the game, I'd created the game window, defined a couple of functions and I'd created my game loop. So I'm going to run that code just to see what it looked like. So you can see I've got the game window, I've got a background color and I've got this divider here that separates the game area from the margin and in this margin is where I'm going to keep count of the score. So the next thing I want to do is to build on that and add in the game paddles. And I'm going to do that as a class. So I'll say class paddle. And as always with a class, you want to define in it as your first function. So this is your constructor. It's going to take the argument of self. And then I want to put in x and y coordinates. So I'll say self dot x equals x, self dot y equals y. So the paddles are going to be rectangles, which means that I can use Pygame's built-in rect function and it's going to allow me to easily move that paddle around and it's going to allow me to check for a collision as well. So I'm going to assign that to the variable self rect equals rect, which is the Pygame rectangle function. It's going to take an x and a y coordinate, which is where it starts off. So this is going to be the top left corner of the rectangle. So I'll say self dot x self dot y and then I need to give it a width which will be 20 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. So this will be enough to create a rectangle object which will be saved in this variable. So anytime I create an instance of this paddle it's going to create a rectangle with the x and the y coordinate that I'm feeding in here. And the last thing I want to add to this is a speed. So this is going to be the speed at which it moves up and down the screen. So with that class now created I can create a couple of instances of it. So I'll come down here and I'll say create paddles and the first one will be the player paddle. So I'm going to call the paddle class to create an instance of it and the two arguments that I need to supply are the x and the y coordinate. So this paddle is going to be on the right hand side of the screen. So I want to take my screen width variable but I don't want it to be all the way over there so I want to move it back a little bit. So I'll say minus 40 pixels. And I want it to be roughly in the middle of the screen. So screen height divided by 2. And I use floor division here. So it just means that I'm not going to get uh, a decimal. It's just going to round the value down. So then I create a second instance. And the second paddle is going to be the CPU paddle. So more or less the same thing except for the X coordinate. I want it to be starting on the left hand side now. So I'll give it an X coordinate of 20. So that will create my two instances, but it won't actually show anything on the screen because I haven't defined any functions within the paddle class that are going to let me do that. So that's what I'm going to do next. And this will be quite straightforward. I'm just going to define a, a function called move. So define move, take the argument of self. And to move, it's, it's going to be fairly straightforward. I'm just going to look for... Uh, up and down arrow key presses. So Pygame has a built-in um, function for telling me which key on the keyboard has been pressed. So I'm going to assign that value to a variable of key. So key equals pygame.key.get underscore pressed. So whatever button has been pressed on the keyboard is going to come and get saved into this variable. So now I can look through that variable and look for particular keys. So if key pygame dot k underscore up, so if the up key has been pressed, then I want to move the rectangle up. So I can just call that rectangle instance and I can use the move underscore IP, which means move in place function. So this function will just simply move the rectangle by the X and the Y coordinates that I'm about to supply. So I don't want the rectangles moving left or right, so the X doesn't change. The Y is going to be moving up. So on a game window, that means that the Y coordinate has to decrease. So I'm going to take this speed variable, which is the speed at which the rectangle is going to be moving, but I want it to be a negative value. So I'm going to multiply it by minus 1. And now I do the same thing for the down key. So if the down key has been pressed, 
I now want to move again nothing in the x direction because I'm not moving left or right but I am moving down so the y coordinate is increasing so that will move the paddles up and down but I still haven't got a way of showing them so I need another function which is going to be draw and here it's just going to be one line of code so Pygame has uh, a built-in function for drawing shapes which I've already used before in my draw board function. So I've got pygame.draw.line. I'm just going to do the same thing here. It's going to be pygame.draw.rect. So this time I'm drawing a rectangle. So for this function, the first argument is the game window that you're going to be sh showing this onto. So I've already defined this up here as my screen. So anytime I call this function, it's going to be going onto my screen. I need to give it a color. So this panel is going to be white. And I need to tell it what rectangle it actually needs to show. And that's just going to be the rectangle from this paddle class. So that should be everything within the paddle class created and defined. I've created the instances of the two classes. And so if I come back into this code, I should be able to now add in my paddles. So below where I've drawn my board and I've added the text for the score counters, I'm going to come a little bit below and I'll say draw paddles. And now I can call those instances player underscore paddle. And because these are instances of the class, they have these same functions. So first, I just want to show them on the screen. So player paddle dot draw and CPU paddle dot draw. So I'm going to run the code and there we go. So you can see that the function that I've created is calling the draw function from that class and it's just showing the rectangle on the screen. So I've got both paddles displayed. At the moment, I have no way of moving them. Even though the function is defined within the class, I haven't called it within my game loop. And at the moment, the only paddle that I want to be able to move is the player paddle. I don't want to be able to control the CPU paddle. So I'll come down here and I'll say move paddle. And again, I want to call that instance of player paddle and this time call the function move. So assuming I have not made any mistakes, I should be able to move this up and down. But you notice A, it moves incredibly quickly and B, it flies up and down off the screen. So it's working, but it needs some limits. So the first thing I want to fix is the speed at which it's moving. Now that's not because of the speed variable here. It's simply because I've not set a frame rate limit to the game. So essentially, it's just running as fast as a computer can run it. So to combat that, I can fix the frame rate at a particular value, and it means it's just always going to run at the same speed. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to create a, a frame rate clock. So I'll call this FPS clock, and this is going to equal the pygame function of pygame time dot clock. And now within my game variables, I can define a frame rate. So I'm just going to call this 60. And lastly, I come into my game loop. And right at the beginning, I'm going to say FPS clock, which is the clock that I set up at the beginning, dot tick at a speed or a rate of 60, which is my FPS variable. So this is now going to limit how quickly this game can run. So if I execute this again, you can see the paddle is moving at a much more manageable pace. The problem is it's still going off the screen. So I haven't defined up and down limits for it. It can go over the margin, it can go off the screen in the, at the top and at the bottom. And this is quite easy to fix. So I come back into my paddle class and where I've got this move function defined, at the moment I don't have any limits. So all I'm saying is that as long as I'm holding the up key, I want to move the rectangle up. But I can add a limit to this. So I'm going to say and, and what I want to be able to do is only move as long as the top of the rectangle is still beneath the margin line. So because I have my rectangle instance, or rather for every instance has a rectangle variable, a rectangle object, it means that I can get the values from it. It's x and y coordinates and the top, the bottom, the left hand side, and the right hand side, and so on. So I'll say self.rect. And I want the top of this rectangle. And 
uh, say that as long as it's greater than the margin, remember this is the Y coordinate, meaning that greater means it's below on the screen. So as long as the top of the rectangle is below the margin, i.e. the Y coordinate of it is higher than, greater than the margin, only then do I want to be able to move up. And the same is going to go for the down. So I'm going to add an extra condition. This time we're going to be looking for self.rect.bottom. So as long as this is less than the screen height, meaning it's above it, then I'm okay to proceed and move the rectangle down. So I'll run this code again, and now you can see it's limited. So as soon as it gets to the margin, it stops, and as soon as it gets down here, it also stops. And that's it for this video. If you found this useful, then please like and subscribe to be notified when I upload the next one. Thanks for watching.